Hi, I'm Andy Agostini. I work at uh, EA Sports for the NHL franchise here in uh, beautiful British Columbia. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, Dynasty and Via Pro. Uh, that's my areas of uh, the game, and I'm going to be talking about the different things we've already done to uh, do some fixes that the community has been wanting from us for a while, and uh, we're working on different things. I'm not going to be saying anything new today. That'll be in the future. Uh, but there's a lot of new stuff coming into these modes in the, in the next couple of months you're going to be seeing and uh, a lot of good stuff so it's going to be a good, good time for you guys uh, in September when you get the game. Um, so I'm going to go through each mode, Dynasty mode first. One of the things we've heard a lot about is that there aren't enough injuries uh, for the user team. So we've taken care of that. Uh, the CPU is uh, going to be doing things to your players to make sure that you're going to have to manage your team like a proper GM with injuries. Um, last year there weren't enough and, and tune that so that you're going to see an improvement of, of uh, managing your team along with your AHL franchises here. Uh, another area is rookie generation. Uh, we've seen some um, issues that have come up, uh, such as playmakers not having enough passing. Uh, we've improved that, we've, we've uh, done some tuning, we found where the bugs were, and we've taken care of that. So this year will be a much more, uh, a better rookie class. You're going to notice a, a little bit more uh, variation in the players and it should be a, a better experience for everyone. Um, uh, we've also done a lot of work with the trading AI. Uh, the CPU uh, will be much more intelligent, will know a lot more about themselves and your team so that the trades will, will feel more uh, like real NHL trades. And there'll be more on that in the future. You're going to see a lot more about detail on, on that area of the game uh, when, we, when we can say more. Uh, and the other thing is we've worked on the simulation engine. Uh, the scores will be much more varied. Uh, with scoring going up this year in the NHL, you're going to see a, a little more variance in, in how our sim engine uh, gives out goals and assists. So it should be a much more uh, realistic impression of what, what uh, the scoring is like in the NHL. So uh, that's the dynasty improvements I can tell you about right now. Uh, and the next area is Via Pro, which is of course the, the big thing that we did last year. And uh, it seems like it was really well received by our community. They love playing Via Pro. But there were a couple things that were mentioned uh, that w they would like to see improved. And uh, obviously as we work here every day and we do pay attention to the message boards, uh, and we might not be on every message board, but we do read everything we can and try to take all that information in and, and actually look at examples of what you guys have found and try to improve it. So one of them is the famous, I scored 10 goals in the first three games of Via Pro as an NHL player and I got sent down. Um, that was a little bit due to the fact that you need to be a complete player in the NHL. Uh, we may have skewed it too much to be a, a complete player, so we're going to tune it so that statistics will, will be more. Uh, if you're producing, um, you can stick around a little longer in the NHL, um, but if you are getting Fs in the other areas of your game, you will eventually go down to the minors. Uh, there are players in the NHL in the past that have had that same scenario, where they come up, they score, they won't do anything else, so then the coach has to send him down because at the end of the day, he doesn't want to let in three goals while you score three goals. But we are improving that, so it should be a much easier time trying to stay up in the NHL if you are uh, producing. Um, another area that I'm working with Sean uh, on is the teammate AI. They will be much more improved. It won't be, if I don't score, no one will score for me. Uh, so it should be a much more interactive uh, team experience where when you're sitting on the bench, you're cheering on your team because you actually feel that they can do something on the ice to help you. And uh, the other one is for the goalies. Uh, in Be A Pro, uh, you play as a goalie and you might get uh, 10 to 12 shots a game, 15. It would seem kind of low, so we're working on making the CPU much more aggressive in their shooting, uh, and that should uh, give the, the Be A Pro goalie uh, fans who are, there's quite a few people that love playing as the goalie, um, a much more interactive experience as they'll actually be you know, moving around the net and trying to make stops, especially since the average NHL goalie will get somewhere between 25 and 30 shots. So uh, these are all the improvements we've been working on in the last little while. Uh, still lots more to come and we expect uh, a, a lot more feedback from you guys as we go along here and we'll, we'll do our best. So uh, till next time, talk to you later. Bye.